Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today video, we're going to be talking about the new power class that got added to the game. So, it's pretty decent from what I'm gathering so far. I've been using it for all of last night on the live stream. Decent class for farming mobs. I would not recommend it for solos on bosses unless you have a team with you. And even if you have a team with you, I'm guessing you have other classes that do much more damage. Legion, Doom Knight, Cyro, Blaze, Artifact, and Alpha will all do more damage than this class um, so it's not the best at anything in the game but it's a decent class all around and it's very easy to get so I'd recommend getting it if you don't already have it so if you want to know how to get this class you can click the card in the top right corner of the screen it will direct you to a video of me explaining how to get this class so the first skill increases your crit damage by 7% for 5 stacks and increases your crit chance for 3% for each stack you get. So that will increase your crit chance overall and the damage you're doing criticals. So luck is going to be a good enchant for this class. Moving on to the second skill, it's a little bit like the one they have with Artifact Hunter. So what it does is it gives you a healing dot or another enchant, not dot, uh, H-O-T, heal over time, not a D-O-T, which is damage over time. So it gives you a healing H-O-T on your character. So that's a very good uh, ability to have. It heals you, but you don't have enough sustain to do uh, big boss fights where the boss is doing lots of damage, so you don't have enough. But still decent for the average mob farm. Alright, moving on, this will give you 4%, 400% damage over 8 seconds, or cannon fodder, which increases all damage taken by the target by 20% for 8 seconds. Last skill is a cannon fire, which will deal, uh, it'll increase your opponent's haste by 25% while reducing damage by 35%. So that's a good all-around skills. So here's what all they look, here's what all of them look like. Here's the first one, just kind of like a dual dash thing. Nothing out of the ordinary, kind of like an auto attack. Here's the second one. Sorry about that. Here's the second one. Not really doing anything. See if it gives you a little HOT. Here's the third one. That didn't. Yeah, a little bit of fire effect. And the last one, if we can get the cannonballs. Oh, we can't get the cannonballs. I don't know. Well, okay, so let's move on to solo, I guess. That's what like normal mob farms look like. For enchants on this class, I would use all luck except for the class which I would enchant with fighter. That's a personal opinion. If you have any better ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I'm sure you already have. <laughs> so that's what the cannon fodder looks like. Pretty cool. Um, pretty cool animation. Would like the game if there was more than one person in the room, but looks very flashy and I appreciate the time that was put into that. Not just copy and pasting old animations. I like it so yeah it does decent damage it does a lot of damage but it's not doing enough damage to make this like my main go-to class it's just just not that good it's sh outshone by uh, outshone eh, words it's outshined by a lot of different classes and it's just it's just a decent class but it's not a good class you know if you don't have any better classes this is a decent class if you, instead of using fighter I'd recommend this but if you have stuff like artifact hunter alpha omega stuff like that this is probably not the class for you but I recommend picking it up and try it just for something different anyway guys that's the video I'm about to die because I didn't have any mana going into this fight Thanks for watching, um, more videos on my channel coming soon, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.